thanks for tuning in everyone i made a video um maybe a year or two ago in regards to how to fix in lettering these little gaps that show up in the letters and even when you fill it in with a specific color they're still there they still exist and they're really pesky things so how do we get rid of them uh, before what I had did is double clicked on it so that these dots appeared so whatever the object is or wording is you just double click on the object so right now we're not clicked in if you double click then the dots show up and those are your points where you can edit so yeah back to what I was saying how do you get rid of these situations so what I did just now what I did not do before in the previous video that I had made in regards to this um, it worked that time but I totally understand when it's not working out for everybody um, so over here in this box where it's uh, called point editing um, there's different options so the last time I just went to um, convert path and then I had welded it off to the side here um, under where it says open the modify palette panel sorry um, so currently what I just did a second ago before I started recording I probably should have recorded then but um, I double clicked and they obviously showed up the dots and then if you click on one of the points let's say this one seems out of place should not be there if I click on this and I go to break path it opens up that spot so now you can um, maneuver the lines while they're completely open why this is important okay so before if you do just convert path it just takes all these little dots and kind of molds them where it sees fit but sometimes what happens is these little gap holy spots in the other objects still pre-exist and doesn't always work by converting path so when you open up the different points and you mold them with the other ones it has to be like two red dots it'll close off that area so just how I open this up right now gives me the option to connect it to a dot that would prevent there being a hole in the letter or shape so in this O obviously we can tell it is a solid object because I colored it black and it doesn't look transparent like this L over here if it was um, opened up like obviously you can see right here this is not connected to, to anything so therefore it's an open object so we need to open up this O so that we could connect these dots properly so if I could click on these little points in between like the L and the O which closes off the edge of that O where it like swoops up we need to break path again and it opens it up so now what we need to do is there's so many little dots we need to start deleting so you can either just go to backspace and it'll delete the little dots but you got to be careful because if you go click crazy you'll delete too many and it'll start doing some funky stuff so anyways I see this um, little red dot that we can kind of pull over so we can edit it go back button so I want to be careful it keeps closing it just because there's obviously a little dot in here that I'm not clicking on that I need to click on so we're gonna get this right let's click out of here so I want to pull one of these over or something get it out of the way 
And I would definitely have to say when working on Silhouette or any program specifically, it's, you're always going to fall into these little quirky things that make things a little difficult. And it just takes a lot of patience, honestly. If this is something that you want to do regularly in craft, it's just something you have to get used to. Like, unfortunately, this is not a cut and dry situation. Why well, I don't know why this is like this, so I'm gonna just delete that. It just seems so extra. So delete point. And keep deleting. Now I deleted too much, so just backspace. Maybe this one right here. And delete point again. Okay. My goodness. Okay, so it looks crazy right now, honestly, but sometimes in order for me to see kind of what is going on in that little area that I can't touch something specifically because there's so many of those dots jumbled up. And when I was uh, deleting the points, it was just making it all look crazy and stuff. So um, sometimes it's best to just pull as many of them away from that kind of focus point area just so you can see where the lines are disconnected and connected. So... I don't want to delete that. That's a main line right there. This I can delete completely. We don't need that. That's the biggest issue here. Um, I can do, let's see what we'll do. We will delete point on this one. See what happens. Okay, I'm clicking away. Okay, so we need this open actually. So let's just go ahead and put break path. Now it creates that little dot again. Now how you mold these is you drag one dot to the other dot and when it appears white, that is how you can um, connect those two lines. So those two lines are now connected. Thank goodness that took a while, but it was because they were all jumbled up next to each other. I could not see what I was doing. Um, so here we go again, we're just dragging the one dot to the other one and it converts that path right there. Now, since this looks all crazy again, um, but I only did it because it was not working out as easy. I'm just kind of moving things around so that it looks a little bit normal. Whenever you see these blue uh, dots, that's to kind of pull things up, down, side, whatever direction you want to. But it's just to make things look a little bit more smoother. Um, this still looks a little quirky to me, so I'm going to keep playing around with this. Okay, so those lines are connected. Let's try to do these other ones since they're still open. So, you know, they're opened. It's an open path because of the red dots up here after you double click on the object or the letters. So you just wanna connect those. That happened really fast. That doesn't happen every time. Maybe if I try that again, let's see. Maybe it just gets more intelligent over time. I don't know. It worked for me. If it doesn't work for you by just clicking on one of the dots, then drag them over to the other dot that you want it to um, close off the path. So there you go. It is now a solid object. Now to smooth out the lines, it's as easy as double clicking on the object and going over. Oh, look at that appeared. Hold on, let's fix that. So let's go delete point. And then I'm gonna put delete point. Let's keep deleting. I don't wanna delete that major line. Uh, backspace, backspace. Okay. Let's start opening these up. Let's go to break path. Now it's open and we need to get rid of some of these extra lines that are unnecessary so we can go ahead to delete point. Nice. Okay. Now I got to open up this letter L. Ugh. 
it's going to be a pain in the butt. There's so many dots in that area. Okay. Now, like I said before, it can be really hard trying to find where these things do connect, where they don't connect. So maybe just moving the lines around and finding how you can connect it a little easier. So it looks crazy right now, but we're going to fix it up. Okay, so let's delete all this stuff. Delete point. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, so now that is open. And we could connect that to that. And then we don't need this little line over here. So we're going to go here. Going to delete point. Delete point. Uh, you know what? Actually backspace on that one. And then we're going to connect this to that. And there we go. Okay, 